Greetings, fellow zombie survivors. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, Episode 58, Trailer Trip Part 2. So I'm going to remove all the fake markings that or, or the extra markings that are marked down because we're heading to the train station. So the train station parking lots, this is the train station. So it will be here and here. And I'll head to these first because it's closer. But I don't want to leave these marks up. I wonder what they are like a week from now. And then if you're not having fun because you die still too often, even if you're just focusing on combat, uh, make the zombies easier. Lower the difficulty until you have some success in building um, survival skills, combat skills, and then bump the difficulty up and up and up to when you're back to like survivor difficulty and then, you know, practice surviving combat. Well, that's a lot of zombies. But from my point of view, until you can live for maybe, oops, phone call, until you can live for like maybe about a month or so, um, the first month of the game is almost entirely like food is plentiful, nothing's rotting, right? You don't really have to plan ahead. Typically, you'll have plenty of power and water for most of that first month. So treat in, until your average lifespan is greater than a month. There's no need to collect, you know, there's no need to like focus on water barrels or any of that jazz. Because you're, you're not going to be alive for that part of gameplay. Is this a parking lot? Not exactly. I think the parking lot's over this, this way. Actually, where is it exactly? Let me let me look up on the map. Slightly lost. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, at the end of this road to the left. What is my zombie kill count up to? Uh, 25, 9 something. Almost 2,600 zombies. The other thing is, like, I don't necessarily have to kill zombies. I can, if I'm careful, just keep driving around and try to find zombies, or try to find a trailer, and then if I see a trailer, start clearing out around it. I just don't want to get trapped in a dead end and have to, like, get out and ditch. So here's the Kentucky Transit Station with a big whop and nothing. I'm not totally against, like, if I see a heavy vehicle with a good windshield uh, doing a quick swapsies. But as you can see, if I, um, if I'm not careful about how, how and where I drive, I'm going to get swarmed. And I don't really want to lose this car. Or this character. This is a wider entryway. This is going to be harder for me to get stuck in here. That uh, that van there has a pretty good windshield. 
I don't think it's worth stopping for, though. It's kind of well guarded. So this is the big parking lot of the train station. Here, I'll show you. It's right where I marked. But I'm not seeing any trailers. So I'll try the other uh, markings that are, I think, just uh, northeast of here. There's another section of uh, parking lots nearby. It's not technically train station, but... Try to work my way out that way. Yeah, this haven't, hasn't been uh, a really heavy combat run, because the goal isn't to just kill a whole lot of people. You know, if I wanted to be out just, like, swinging katanas and machetes and crowbars all day long, um, my kill count would be obviously a lot higher. But what's the point in that, unless you have a goal in mind? Especially with uh, zombie respawns on, it's completely pointless. All you're doing is... I mean, I guess it's giving you, like, weapon skill, but it's not benefiting you in any other way. Other than leveling up your weapons and destroying your weapons at the same time. Alright, so down a block and sort of left. And just keep your eyes open, because it's possible that we'll find one with a trailer. Um... Anywhere, really. If you guys have a uh viewer suggestions for what to do tomorrow um start dropping them into the inbox i'm going to refund everybody and uh, clear out the queue so search for a trailer and suggest goals the next place i might want to try is the checkpoint because these there's just a Severe lack of cars in general. These lots don't have much in them. Like an entire lot with one van. Is this what, the Country Club's uh, parking lot, I think? I think this is the Country Club building. Yeah. Most definitely. Or the Golf Club, whatever. Same diff. All right, let's try checkpoint. Let me try to figure out how to get there from here. I did mark down a parking lot to... I actually don't think it's a parking lot. I think it's empty. Oh, no, no, it is, it is a parking lot where I marked down on the right. Let's, I'll look up there real quick. Is this an area that people move to because of the high fences? No, because it's, um, it's really open and it's like not patrollable. The, the country club area. It's part of the, it's the north, northern corner of the Central Park, but because it's so expansive, uh, it, it's a terrible base location because it covers like a dozen chunks. So you're always going to get respawns messing with you. A bunch of pretty decent looking heavy vehicles in here, but definitely no trailers. The only trailers that exist in vanilla are the towable, um, the, the smaller towable trailers. All the other trailers you'll need mods for, which I don't have installed. So I should take a right and then a, like a left, right, left, right, left, right. Take the right now. 
Trailers do exist in vanilla, though. They're just not common enough, especially not in the city. But I'm restricted to being only in the city, so I either find it here or nowhere. Man, these side streets are filling up. It's becoming difficult to get around them. Okay, left, and then it's kind of a straight shot. It's a little late in the day, but because I'm driving, it's not as fatiguing as, like, going... killing zombies mano a mano. So I can stay out a little bit later, provided that my headlights work. <laughs> I've done a lot of damage to the headlights, though. Oh, that truck looks in pretty mint condition. The Kentucky Herald truck. There's too many zombies around me to, like, stop to pull out a windshield, though. Do they have, um... So the spawn characteristics for vehicles in this game is is pretty random. So you're not going to find them more at like hardware stores. You just find them where you're going to find cars in general. Parking lots, uh, intersections, traffic jams, stuff like that. Look at all these zombies. You once had a trailer spawn in the driveway of the house you spawned in? That's convenient. Provided you could find the wheels. A trailer without, you know, something to hitch to. Is torture. Because it's a high value... A high value thing you can't use. Right? Like finding buckets of shotgun ammo with no shotgun. These roads are really becoming impassable. Man, look at all these people. Yo, what do you think? Too many people? He's sleeping. He doesn't even care. So this is the cemetery on my left here where I stole the gold. So it's not too much further. We're going to be passing the hospital soon on the right. Or at the northwest side of the screen. I'm losing my ability to keep this thing on the road, though. There's just hundreds of zombies in the streets. It's definitely doing a lot of damage to the car. So there are, and I marked this on the map originally, there are factories to the southeast that have parking lots, but, like, parking lots so far have been... Pretty terrible in total in terms of trying to find a be uh, a trailer. All right, we're in checkpoint territory now.
One of the benefits of checkpoint territory is there's a lot of um, guaranteed generator spawns, a lot of ammo. Like there, there, there is a guaranteed generator right there. Any of the generators that are spotting outside, they're going to be there like no matter what, on every playthrough. Same with the barbecue uh, grills, if you want to be beholden to charcoal. But same with the barbecue grills and the ga uh, propane grills. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive down as far as I can without breaking fences down. And I didn't, I didn't see any trailers here. Hey, Durangadang. Uh, thank you for the raid. What were you playing? You were playing... Oh, oh, it's you again. Well, thank you for the raid. And welcome. This, uh, you're currently looking at my puppy. Who's chilling as I'm driving around looking for trailers. You're playing SOD2? I'm sure you're asked this a lot, but is there a, uh... A time frame for when the next update for the Plague Heart, um, I, I mean, I know it's on the beta branch, but do you know when the beta branch is going to go public? Aiming for May? Oh, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to that. I've been playing the beta branch, not on stream, but uh, just in my free time a bit, and it's a lot of fun. I like the, uh, the Silent Heart. Uh, mechanics and the in new infestation mechanics and and everything it's it's great it really makes the map feel alive um, and dynamic which is very very welcomed and very cool Ooh. there it is again as soon as you hit the map you just veer off in one random direction and just smash things all right so to drive home I just drive until it's basically end of the street, take left. And hi, I'm on camera now. So what are we doing tomorrow? I don't even know. I don't think I'm gonna spend another day looking for a trailer. I exhaust, like there might be trailers in Louisville, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. I mean, this, all this did was bust up my car and spent the entire day getting nothing done. What a waste of carrots. Propane and... Oh god, this intersection. Alright, let's drive around it. Oh, many zombies. Oh, there goes the road. Bye-bye road. Oh, okay, roadblock. Whoa. So if you're wondering, there's a mechanic where, um, like, if you hit zombies at, like, 15 miles an hour or under, it doesn't do any damage to your vehicle. If you... Allow the zombies to wail on your car when there's a lot of them, like a swarm of them. They will shred your car to nothing in a minute flat. So if I ever get stuck where, like, I can't move the vehicle and I get swarmed by these guys, the car is gone. And basically, I hop out of the vehicle, I get bit, I die. It's game over. So if the car comes to a halt, it's basically game over when I'm surrounded this much. Which is why it's so important to stay moving. Even if you... And I've seen a lot of new players make this mistake. They prioritize the health of the vehicle by not being willing to bump a zombie or two. And they end up hitting a tree instead, trying to swerve around every single possible zombie. Going for 100% no collision is not worth it, in my opinion. You might as well just bump a zombie or two to avoid the possibility of coming to a halt due to a lamppost or tree or some impassable object. 
which A, is going to be doing a lot more damage to your car than the zombie would have, and B, if you do come to a halt and they swarm you so you can't reverse, uh, you're done for. You're just done. So, little words of wisdom there. Be willing... Nope, like that. Right, I should have been willing to hit that zombie. Luckily, I was able to scoot away quickly. And, and that also uh, brings me to another point. Uh, pick a car with, like, pretty good acceleration. Uh, a sluggish car... And, and I guess this is also true for State of the Gate, too. But a sluggish car can't make clean getaways when you come to a halt. So if you're driving, like, a, uh, a step truck, it's going to be a lot harder to come to a stop and then zip away. By that same token, the sports cars um, get you in a lot of trouble just because their acceleration will often have you careening into walls. But if you're a better driver than I, they're, they're viable as well. But I tend to like the the pickup trucks uh, and SUVs because they have pretty good acceleration to, to, to horsepower ratio, allowing you to push over zombies if you need to. Uh, scoot away if you need to and then store a pretty decent amount of stuff. So at this point, I'm just driving till I'm home, more or less. And Sunday Driver will tend to kill you, yeah. Sunday Driver kills your acceleration. Sunday Driver is kind of like you're stuck in first gear, but with like no torque. Uh, so you'll get yourself surrounded very easily. And then the issue with, um, and this is a lesser known problem that like isn't written into details but one of the lesser known issues with um speed demon which is the opposite of sunday driver is uh when you reverse it makes the vehicle make a lot more noise so it's very noisy if you're trying to back up so if you're trying to go with the meta of like using your car as a battery ram and reversing over enemies or zombies and running them over trying to minimize the damage to your uh, hood and therefore engine block um Speed Demon will draw a lot more zombies to you than not having Speed Demon. So, although a lot of builds will have one freebie point left over that you want to spend, uh, I caution you spending it in um, Speed Demon because it makes reversing over zombies more difficult to stay stealthy. So when I left the base, this SUV was maybe at 81-ish percent, high 81, like 81.7 or something like that. So we'll see. My predictions is it's sitting probably high 70s. Oh my god, there's so many zombies here. Can you guys stop blocking the entire road? And that, my friends, is why we don't go for long road trips often. Because they're fruitless, difficult, dangerous, nerve-wracking. But it's done. I think, uh, I think Louie needs a nice meal tonight. After all that ordeal. So let's get that going. And I'll pull you guys for what comes next. Toilet. it. Is that signed? It looks like our hut. Uh, 76%. So the front right headlight is pretty busted. The hood is busted. The windshield went from 50% to 25%. Um, the trunk and trunk lid got busted up as well. 
The tires took some damage because they were in the 70s or 80s range. Brakes and suspension really hasn't changed, nor has anything in the interior. But yeah, like, truck took a toll. All right, bird meat. So what are we doing tomorrow? Let's see. We can go to the mall. That'll be sketchy. Um, loot farming supplies. Near the baseball stadium. Which might have um, jarring equipment. Um, plant radishes. Make a radish farm. Go to the Louisville Slugger factory. Check traps and fish. Uh, search the under construction neighborhood. to the northeast. And I'm sure my chicken is... Uh... Okay, I just wanted to defrost it, but I guess I cooked it. Oh, well. Not as interesting as he was hoping for, but that's what you get for tabbing up. Um, add side escapes to the base. And connect the base to the um, to more buildings. Uh, JD, why I changed yours is because we already connected via the roof to the southwest. The spirit of your idea lives on. While you guys vote, I'm going to do a little bit of patching up the car. Some new light bulbs and fixing some of the metal work. Did you mean northeast? Guessing you might have meant northeast. Interesting that I can repair the hood from the trunk. All right, so we're almost at 80%. That's, uh, that's a return kind of back to normal. And that didn't take too much um, of our stuff. Just a few metal sheets, a few light bulbs, and we're fine. Obviously, it is wear and tear. It's not great to do that often, but it's fine for now. Bolt the propane tank, and we're good to go for tomorrow. So what's in the lead here? Slugger factory and fish and trap. Well, vote quick, because once I wake up, I'm going to start it. Or maybe I'll just take care of the farm and check up on things, check up on the generator, because I think I need to repair the generator as well. So I'll I'll let you vote until I'm ready to leave the base. I'm not going to be ready to leave the base immediately. 
There's always more maintenance to do. I also need to grab the fuel out of the trunk. Because uh, I have all those gas cans that I just topped up still in the trunk. What number is fishing? It's it's right there. If you're on mobile and you can't read it and it's too small, that would be number five. But the bot will um, announce it in chat, so you can just scroll up in chat too. So even if you're on mobile, it should be visible in text in the chat. Well, Louis uh, woke up and decided to be bored. Which is kind of rude. This generator is a hundred hundred. Good. This one went down to 46 fuel. I think the second um, popsicle, well, I don't know. I've had two popsicle fridges on for a long time, so I'm surprised that the fuel is draining out so fast. 96, 100, that's close, but not full. What direction of the buildings are the generators at? They're in the north corner. If you're talking cardinal directions, this would be northwest, northeast, southeast, southwest. So the southwest building is connected, as you can see by this game plank here. Actually, I have two different gangplanks. And then we're connected to the Northwest building, the Ready Prep. The next closest building to connect to would be the roof of the pawn shop or the Duke cased, uh, whatever it is, uh, apartment buildings. If we wanted to keep rooftop connections going. So the generator is all taken care of. Let's double check the farm and then I'll work on what do you guys vote on. I'm trying to be a diligent farmer, not let my crops die. I wish the last time watered wouldn't be in, like, bright red, unless it was urgent. Because it makes me think that they're... that plants require action, but it's like, the water levels are totally fine. That's all done. Farm is healthy. So, trap and fish. I am refunding everybody, and you're welcome to suggest a new subset of goals. So for me to trap, I should probably bring bait and lure with me. So I'm going to bring the worms, and then I'm also going to bring a lot of extra cabbages. To just... You know, it's better than not trapping at all. As for fishing, I don't think I have a lot of twine left which is a bit of an issue but um, I'm going to repair this wood axe so I can make fishing rods on the fly okay it's very nicely repaired good cheers does the bedroom have an antique stove too uh no it doesn't. I could move it down there if I needed to. If you want, I can go looking for extra stoves. There's one area of the map that would be a good place to look for them, which would be the warehouse district uh, right at the entryway in this area. There's a lot of warehouses there that could have stoves in them. Oops. 
Hear the door closing sound. Make sure whenever you drive your vehicle, you hear the door close. Cause if it's not closed, a zombie can actually harm you when you're in your car. Cause your door, it, you won't see the animation that it's um, open, but it's it will, if you don't hear the auditory thing that it closes, your door is open and you can be grabbed through it. Hey, Critical Boxes. Welcome to the stream. That is a creepy noise. Oh, uh, right. They don't want... I'm going to add bird meat as bait. Because... It seems like a weird thing to do. Because they don't want cabbages. That's for the other types of traps. What do you catch adding bird meat? Hey! That's good. good sound. Trap level one. I suck, but slightly less than I did yesterday. I'm going to rely on you guys to have me not forget that I have uh, bird meat in the trunk. You can use cereal? Oh, that's good to know. I'm not going back for that, though. Too lazy. So the last time I was trying to fish, the fishing rod without line, I couldn't reline it. Um, I don't fish often enough. But it does seem like I have fishing line and I can't just stick this line on the line. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Right? Because I can add the line to the other line, but I can't add it to the rod. So I'll just make one from scratch. Which is why I brought my axe. There, now I have five fishing rods. And a lot of litter. <laughs> oh, I should have tricked this trap. May you use the B menu? Let me see if I, like, attach it. Yeah, it's just make rod. I don't know. I don't care. Get wire back. Well, there goes my uh, fishing trap. Did nothing but break. I'll start stocking wire in here so I can make future traps. And the dumb lo line. So I gotta be really careful not to fall, because I think if I fell into the water, I'd have to fix it with that menu. So we'll maybe have a, well, it's not technically surf and turf. Turf usually means cow, but surf and peck. Is there a term for like fish and chicken in a meal? Yeah, there is. I mean, typically in what, like uh, Creole, gumbo, gumbo type food. I don't know. I don't, it's not what I typically cook. We'll have some of that surf and sore. Surfing sky. Oh, I caught a small pike. 
And I am out of things as lure. Okay. So just one pike. We'll keep trying. I was going to spend the whole day doing this. I did bring a trowel with me, so I can just dig for worms. Fish and fowl? Fowly fish? Wings and fins? You guys are really creative. Do you know if I dig furrows, will it uh, give me worms? I think it's actually I need a shovel for this. I don't think furrows will um, yield. So instead of going back for a proper shovel, I'll just search for crickets. Here we go, caterpillar. I wonder if I ever, um, I'm not gonna enable search focus. I don't care what I search for, just as long as it's, can be stuck on the end of a fishing rod. What, is there nothing now? Apparently there's nothing to find out here now. Except for zombies. Firewood animals and food is supposed to be normal. In oh, there we go. Road. So, chipped rocks. Vegetation, and it's empty. It's the most well-groomed vegetation ever. Oh, there we go, pill bug. We're getting some stuff. Sage. I could have used some comfrey not too long ago when I had the fracture. Comfrey is a, like a fracture herbal remedy. I found a zombie. Scissors? Yeah, I'll just leave them in the in the <laughs> in the fields. Seems safe enough. I'll take the helmet off. You make a fair point. Maybe two more, or maybe, how about until I le level up my forging? Because that will give me something. Well, no, I'm not that far. I'm not that close, rather. It's two more things that I can stick on the end of the, the fishing rod. And I'll go back to fishing. Also, you might see, uh, anytime I find something that I don't want, discarding it will yield XP, which is still useful. Except for the twigs. Not all items can be discarded. You think there was an insecticide spill here? I'm in kind of a weird part of vegetation, though, because I'm very much on the outskirts of a city. I'm not, like, deep in the woods. 
I think if I was deep in the woods, my, um, the amount that I could search for would be better. Well, it's fine. It's good enough. As I say, now there's nothing. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's not a lot of nothing. That's a lot of zombies. <laughs> Staring at my feet, trying to find things to forage, walk into a horde. I could, yeah, check the Zeds I killed a long time ago, because they yield maggots. There, there aren't a lot of, um, there aren't a lot of zombies near the base that I've killed recently, though. There's like only a few. I'd have to go uh, down to the museum to probably get maggots in mass. Which would take me the remainder of the day. You got this game yesterday? It's insanely hard. Yeah, it's um, it's combat mechanics and game mechanics are very different than most other games. So there's not a lot of experience playing other survival games that will help you here um, because it's just so different. Whoa, hi. Hiding in the tree there. Alright, I'm going to start uh, turning back towards the fishing shack and hope that I forge up some pill bugs and caterpillars on the way back. Because I'm now at the, uh, the north tip of the map, I think. Yep. The northernmost point of Louisville. So the weather effects are hurting my search radius a little bit. Because it's, I guess, foggy? When you spawn, there's so many weapons and uh, so many zombies and no weapons. Um, you can kill zombies... If you're fighting zombies one or two at a time, you can kill them fairly effectively without a weapon by stomping on their heads. If I find a zombie here, I'll, sh I'll show you that in practice. Shove them to the ground, and then position yourself right above their heads. Um, hold right mouse button to sort of aim, and then and then you can stomp. And it... Uh, usually for me, until I find effective weapons, early game I'm just stomping on most of the zombies. Because your boots... And, and make sure to be wearing shoes when you do that. If you're not wearing shoes, you're going to have a bad time. You'll bust up your feet real quick. Which is also gives you something to look for. Early game, try to find boots. Military boots, desert military boots, regular boots, uh, rain boots. Some sort of, like, high durability, high stomp damage. Because it, it does help a lot. I'll try to find a zombie here to, uh, to demo. What I'm talking about. Zombies. Do I have to Q? I will hit Q if I have to. Here, let me just yell for them. They'll find me. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of weapons are... Um, ineffective weapons are worse than stomping, in my opinion. Especially short blades, unless you really know what you're doing. So don't, like, don't bother trying to kill zombies with like screwdrivers and kitchen knives. It just won't work. And then most of the impromptu weapons, like like frying pans and that kind of thing, they work well-ish, but they break very quick. 
That's their uh, the tractor. Oh, what was that? Twigs! Yay! Well, let's uh, fish with the remaining stuff that I found. Or until it gets too dark to fish. Apparently me screaming at the zombies didn't bring any over. Oh well. I'm sure there will be more for me to demo the old stomp. The old boot kill. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 23rd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodomot.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodomot.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers, 